We're in chapter 12 and we're gonna keep going with objects. Now I made a new uh, project in NetBeans called chapter 12. And of course I got a chapter 12.java right here. The first thing I'm gonna do is define the card class and make sure you do read the textbook, uh, including about encoding, but this is the encoding we're gonna use. We're gonna copy it out of the textbook. These are arbitrary choices, so clubs is zero, diamonds one, hearts two, spades three. Depending on the card game you're playing, the order might need to be changed depending on which, and we'll look at the compare to operator later, but just keep in mind that this is arbitrary encoding right here. The number cards, the encoding for those are pretty obvious, two through 10, and then we just do aces one. Now a lot of games, jack, queen, and king are 10, but you can't encode them all to the same value. Well, at least not the way the book does it, but later we're gonna use enumerations and we are then able to pick uh, the number we wanna to encode to, but for now we're just gonna follow along. We're gonna define a class called card. So how do we do that? All the code we need is right here, but where do we put it? You don't, well, you may want to, but you shouldn't put it right here, at least not for what we're gonna do. This is called an inner class and we don't wanna do that now, we might cover that later, but not today. So I am right clicking on the project new Java class. This needs to be called card with a capital C. And you're gonna see it creates a new file called card.java and you can see it at its public class card right here. Of course, you know, the package name has to be at the top of this file so that it's in chapter 12 package. All right, so I'm gonna delete this default code that we got and I'm gonna put in public class card. Now it's super important that card matches the name of the Java file. So it's capital C card, capital C card. So we're looking at here is called the constructor and it is the constructor because, well, first of all, it has to be a public method this one's a bit strange. This method is the same name as the class. And the constructor is has to have the same name as a class. And if you noticed, there's no return type. Before, if we didn't return anything, we would put the word void here, which just says we're not gonna return anything. Now, the constructor technically returns the object you're going to make. So it would be reasonable if the syntax was public card, because it's going to return a card, uh, but just the way Java works, it's just going to return a card and it's implicitly uh, going to return a card without actually writing that here. So anyways, we have our constructor here. We've done a little bit with fields before. Nothing that we're looking at here is static, which means that these fields are going to belong to each card that we make. And you can probably already tell that we're gonna have lots of cards, not just one or two. So we're gonna have lots of cards and each card's gonna have its own rank and its own suit. The constructor takes in a rank and a suit. And if you look, rank is the same as rank, except it's not. What's the difference? Right here, when you have int rank, you're saying that there's gonna be a parameter, an integer called rank coming in. And if I delete this dot, now if I just did rank equals rank, that wouldn't actually do anything because rank already equals itself. If I want to use the rank up here instead of this rank, I need to go this dot rank. And what does that mean? Well, this refers to the object itself which is gonna be tricky. It was tricky for me to understand it for a while, but it means it belongs to the object. You Later on, if you don't repeat the word rank, you don't have to do this dot rank. You can just refer to it as rank. And I'm sure we'll see that very soon. All right, this is all we really need for now to create a card. Now where we're actually gonna make a card, this is the instructions of what it takes to make a card. Where we're actually gonna make a card is back in public static void main. And we have right here. 
So we're going to make the type is card. The name of the object is three of clubs equals. Now this word new, you've seen this before. When you want to create a new object, you need the word new because you're going to be building a new object. Now you could run this, but there's no print statement. So it's going to be very boring to run it. So we're going to go ahead and write the two string method. But before we do that, let's sout this. I'm going to label this right here. So it's going to print out three of cards colon and then whatever three of uh, three of clubs colon and whatever three of clubs is. We'll see it in a second here. And what in the world is this? So you probably expected to see three of clubs colon space, but what's after that? Chapter 12, that is the package that we're in. The object type is card, and this number is where it is in memory. For our purposes, that number doesn't mean anything. Oh, we're not worried about memory management now, so that number is not useful to us. What we need is a better way to display a card. And what we're going to do is write the two string method. So we did this before. So this does need to be public. It does need to return a string. And it needs to be called to string. Take no arguments. And let's see. So one thing I can do is just use rank and suit. So I could make a string, string s. Result is a good default name for a variable that you're going to compute and then return. So you're going to see result use quite a bit. Uh, s would have been a very OK name for a string as well. So all I'm going to do is let's write it as a point for now. So I'm going to do rank. And then plus, why did I put the comma there? And then suit, S U I T. Oh boy. There we go. All right. Uh, now it's still complaining. Let's look at the error message. It says missing return statement. So, yeah, I did create a string, but I need to return the string. All right, so to return the result, and we'll run this, and look at that, it totally changed. All right, what's happening is we're printing out three of clubs. Implicitly, you'll get the exact same result if we do this. Implicitly, whenever Java needs to convert an object to a string, it calls the two string method. If you don't write one, you see what we saw earlier. You see the name of the class and some memory address. What we see now is the results of two string. I'll run it one more time, get the exact same thing. So you don't need to put the dot to string. You can delete that. Okay, let's just go and make this capital T, see what happens. Oh, look at that. Went right back to what we had before. You probably will see a different number each time you run it. Uh, it does need to be little t, uh, capital S in the two string, and it does need to take no arguments. If you did int i uh, and run it, it won't. You've changed the method. This is called the signature. The name and the parameters are called the signature. So if you put an integer in here, it's no longer the two string that takes no arguments. So here's our two string. What we're going to do next is create a nicer way to print this out. Because I know that 3 is the number of the card, or the rank, and 0 is the suit. However, it'd be nice to see clubs, spades, diamonds, or hearts, and we're about to do that next.